So now the United States uh, money, the, the dollar, has gone down. Wow. So the United States dollar has gone down and for example, Europe, the euro, now has gone up. European money has gone up in value while the United States dollar has gone down. Also, the Canadian dollar has started to increase more than our value. So maybe we would like to, if someone would like to travel to Europe, and you see, wow, it's quite expensive because of the value of the dollar has gone up. One feels stuck, and where, do, where does one go to vacation? I went to Germany, and it was quite expensive. The value of the dollar is so much, the US, the German dollar is so much higher than the United States currency, wow. <clears throat> so I was just explaining that we have support and we've been looking for, you know, fight, fight against Al-Qaeda, uh, the terrorist group, you know, who's, uh, as far as the, the, to repair the damage from what happened. For example, when the bridge collapsed, wow, that's awful. Um, we need the money for that. I was just reading an article this week in uh, MSNBC saying 33,000 bridges really need to be inspected. That, that, that has been postponed all over the United States. We really need to do construction and improve the uh, quality of these bridges. If that breaks down, then where do we get the money from? We're paying a lot of taxes, paying and paying the government. We're overspending. It's and when the United States uh, had established the country, you know, when at the time England was really powerful and strong, and uh, to try to undermine us, no, we wanted to be free. So it was our land and our laws and what we had established. We didn't need to be under their control, so that's why there is a fight for our freedom, and that was successful. And on another note, you know, when the United States is involved with other countries, and people fight for their freedom. You know, we have no business to be involved in meddling in other countries. It's their country, they should solve it on their own, their own problems, or the neighboring countries can agree and negotiate and discuss for a peaceful way. The United States can control and police the world. Uh, it's, that's been the case since history. You know, for example, Rome, Greece, England, uh, they, there is a lot of power that was influenced and, and they, they uh, try to expand and then broke and then if the United States doesn't focus on the economy, fixing that, then that may lead to. So we'd like to stop uh, criminal, criminals and uh, uh, illegal citizens invading the country. And how would we do such a thing? Uh, people, for example, who have broken the law and uh, who have violated violated the United States uh, Constitution. You would like. Uh, to encourage them to follow the law and to make sure that if they can't perform certain things or to, to, to people are taking advantage of the system, you know, with welfare and uh, with, with medicine and insurance and so forth. We'd like them to go through a legal procedure. They need to, to line up and wait their turn instead of cutting in line and they, uh, we need to encourage more respect in that arena. And we're funding all that money from our pocket and uh, we want to stop uh, the IRS uh, tip tax. Uh, you know, the internet is so popular. 
Uh, you know, the internet is free, free speech, there's no limitations, like uh, the government being involved or controlling with TV and radio and newspaper, there's uh, none of that. But, you know, people believe what is said, yet they follow the media. Um, but the internet is free. Free information, free warnings, uh, false or true. Uh, there's video. Uh, there is no management or control. It's all truth that's available. Uh, Ron Paul is the number one for uh, collecting uh, money and donations. And uh, one, uh, hopefully, oh, one time he uh, <coughs> allocated six million dollars. Vote. Please don't vote based on gender. Oh, you're a woman? I'm a woman. Oh, no. And not caring about the issues. Oh, we're the same religion, but ignore the issues. Or we're the same skin. No, it's important to focus on the goals and who is following the Constitution and the issues, who's concerned, and who would like to help us Americans. John McCain said that Ron Paul is the most honest man in Congress. He's most frank. <coughs> He's good friends with the taxpayers, and they support him. He's experienced. He's a good economist. He's written a few books about the economy, and he is real savvy and knows about that. Thank you. Thank you, Donald and uh, Melissa, for your time and giving the presentation and explaining in depth. I was shocked at some of uh, the issues that I didn't know about. Wow, it's amazing.